Hi everyone, it's Morgan and welcome to Morgan's Journal. So if you're new here, hi, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm Morgan, I'm trying to cash stuff and you know get my finances in order in 2024 so pretty much a lot of my videos are going to be cash stuff and cash envelope system related um and if you're not new here you may notice also welcome back <laughs> but you may notice that i'm trying out a different setup here um i'm gonna see how i feel about it i think it's doing okay so far but I just wanted to try out something different since my desk had a lot of textures on it and it just seemed kind of overwhelming. So I just wanted to see um, how it looks and it seems pretty all right so far. Um, so this week, it's January week four. So the last week of the month, um, this is the week where we'll have at least rent and any other bills that we have coming up, which is we have rent we have water, so those are primary bills that we have. Um, before I get into any stuffing or checking my envelopes or anything, I wanted to show you guys um, what I had been working on this week, and it's my new budgeting, like budgeting worksheet. So I, I designed myself a new budgeting worksheet. I felt like the one that I had designed previously had too much that I wasn't using so I wanted to really streamline what I was looking at what I was working on and it, it made the process of budgeting a lot faster and easier and it's easy to just like look at a glance of what what I need to take out where my money's going how it's leaving um, and I made it the size of my iPad since I write in procreate i write on this in procreate so i just made it the ipad screen size so it's a lot i don't have to like zoom in and out or anything well i do zoom in to like write sometimes but um yeah so i'm gonna go in like real quickly at least what i have going on in here so the top part is income i have a few lines for income uh i only have one income right now which is work uh so for this week I got 703 total, but I don't always stuff that amount. I don't always stuff that main amount because some things I pay digitally. So here I have my fixed expenses. So as you see, the usual is rent electric water. I do have a couple of $1 Patreons that I subscribe to that I enjoy their content. I was like, ah, it's a dollar <laughs> for each. And it's two of them. And then I have tax. I can spare $3 a month if it's something that I enjoy. Um, I have a little auto save because I have a savings account connected to my main account, which I'm looking into a high yield savings account, but for right now I just have something that just puts money away somewhere else where I'm not keeping track of it. But I think whenever I fill up my one month ahead or get that like 1K that I'm planning to save, I think that's when I'll put in put it into a high yield savings account. But I'm still looking for the right one. Um, I've seen a lot of people use different ones. I'm still trying to find the one that's like right for me. Um, and then I have Apple. Like I said, I bought a new computer. So that is a bill now. So since the minimum payment in order to pay it off before the interest kicks in is 200 a month, I put in 50 a week. So that way I could pay it off on time. But I'll put in extra whenever. Um, this week, this is the last payment for my website in order to uh, pay it in full for the year. I have a Squarespace website, Alps by Design. So it's my design website, my portfolio and everything. Um, so I want to pay that off for the year. I think I'll need another 20 or $30 for the domain name, but I'll double check. But this will cover keeping my website up. And then I have my student loan, which is Nelnet, so that's also about 200 a month so i also put 50 a week towards that and you see the blue dots here the blue dots here are money monies that stay in my account that get auto debited to where they need to go so patreon is automatically taken out auto save automatically goes to that account and then apple and nelnet i set up to auto pay from my account directly to where it needs to go so i mark those 
so I'm not accidentally cash stuffing those when they are already like gone through. Um, and then on this side here, I have them next to each other, is the variable expenses. So I have usually it's groceries, gas, and miscellaneous. Um, that's really the main ones that I have. I may add more in the future when I have more things that I want to stuff for. Um, I have groceries was five. I have another groceries that was 25 because I had paid on my card because I needed to get groceries the day I got paid. So I decided to mark that so I wouldn't accidentally take out the 30 I usually take for groceries since I already spent the 25. And then I have gas and miscellaneous. And then down here, I have sinking funds. So I did have some extra leftover. So this week I'm gonna have, be able to stuff in some sinking funds. I have two columns for that, just in case they get high. And then I have my cash stuffing section, which I write down the items and how much I'll be stuffing. And then I break it down in denominations so that way I can fill out my little um, denomination card whenever I go to the bank. It just it's, makes it a lot easier so I'm not trying to do math over and over again. It's like I've broken it down here, this is how my math works, and I'm not going to mess it up. And then I also have my little, my little brand right there. So uh, let me know in the comments like what you use for your budgeting worksheet and how often you budget. I feel like even if I got paid bi-weekly, a weekly budgeting worksheet helps a lot for me because I get overwhelmed with the uh, numbers. So just let me know if this is something that you do too or just however you keep track of your um, budgeting. So this is what I'll have on the side as far as whenever I'm cash stuffing. So as you can see, this week we are stuffing $565. So let me get the cash tray. All right. And just to double check and make sure that I have everything. Okay, one, two, three, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 490, 500, 510, 550, 550, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 560, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, 660, it's the end of the month. This is when a lot of bills are my due. Bills, a lot of my bills are due. So it's exciting to see like, all right, here's your first month doing this. Have you stayed on track? Do you have rent? Do you have all the bills that you're scared of not being able to have? Okay. So before we stuff, I want to go through my wallet and unstuff I guess, is that what they call it? On stuff, the envelopes I have here. I just want to take out what I had left. So, oh gosh. So I want to take out what I had left. So in strawberry money, which for right now is gas, I still had uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yay. All right. I'm going to keep this extra cash to the side because I want to save this money for my savings challenges and I'm not sure which challenges I'm going to put them in yet or I'm not or at least either challenges or like whatever else I have. I'm not really sure where this money is going to go yet. Um, okay, I just want to say update on this wallet. I love it so much. It's been so helpful. It's been so easy to go to the bank and so easy to take things in and out. Like it's been so easy to go to the grocery store. Like it's just been, it's been a lifesaver using this. It's, it's just such a game changer. So in groceries, we have five, six, seven dollars left. 
I'll see. We're doing pretty good to compare it to every other week where we just had nothing. All right. So it looks like we have 25 so far. Okay, nothing in miscellaneous because we didn't stuff it last week. And then I paid my electric bill and it was like 77. So we were definitely over budget this week. So I'm super excited. Um, we had a lot extra left over. So we had 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, this, oh, this is so exciting. This is the part that I like. It's like, all right, you paid the bill. Lights are still on. Still got a roof over your head. And, and you've still got money. So this is all that's left in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the electric bill from this because I'm gonna put the electric bill back into my bills binder because I don't want to take that with me while I'm out. Um, okay. But yeah, like this, the like um, the wallet's been super helpful to just like, oh, I need to go to the bank and take this. Cool. Um, I'll just pop it out and then put it back in. So, oh wait, rent, water, and electric. Okay. Like super, super simple. I don't have to fumble with anything and it's great. And like the good thing about cash is like I can deposit it and pay my bill like the same day or like the next day. Like it's not, it is, it is a hassle like going to the bank constantly or like more often than you usually do because it's like uh, a in, in slight inconvenience that you like go out of the way. But it's like if going to the bank more often than I usually do is what keeps me like not in the red each month, I will happily go to the bank every day if I need to. Not every day, oh gosh, no. I only go whenever like the day before the bills are due. So, oh, this is so nice. Okay, let me double check. Okay, so 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. An extra $49. We get to save wherever we want. But first, we need to stuff. All right, so I'll leave that cash there. And then we'll start with our usual bills binder. Okay. So rent. Getting our usual 300, one, two, 300. And so we should have 1200. Okay, so plus 300, 1200, which is exactly the amount that I need for my rent. And my lease ends in April, like the end of April. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can find a cheaper place. So that way I'm not, uh, I can put like another $300 somewhere else if I can find a cheap place. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,100, 200. So 1,100, no, 200, 1,200. Also, oh, this is like a, it's a different 100, okay throwback i guess <laughs> i know it just threw me off that like all the other hundreds are like the nice fancy new crispy crispy 100s and then this one's like here you go a little vintage 100 for you but hey money is money i'll take it as long as it pays my rent so this means that this week i can take this envelope and go and deposit it to the bank and then I'll have rent. And water gets, let's see, gets its usual 27. Okay, so plus, plus 27. So it'll be a 20 and then a five, six, seven. Cool. 
Okay. Sorry, let me count. Sort this. I feel like I would do more cash condensing if the bills that I had like weren't so immediate. Like I'm not that far along in my cash surfing journey to be like, all right, time to unstuff three thousand dollars of twenties and condense it. But I'll get there one day. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. 90, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. Is that right? 108? Well, yeah, eight. Yeah, all right, 108. Sorry, just super, once again, super surprised. Way over budget for water, which is good because then. That'll be another week next week that I'll get to add to this pile. So, God, that's, sorry, I need to count this again. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, set one away. Sorry, I, it's just so weird. Like, I'm still getting used to it. Like, I'm coming from, I literally only have $10 in my account and my bills are gonna have to wait. And there's no excuse for me living like that. And so being able to be like, you could have done this the entire time and had your bill set the entire time. It's just, it's just wild to me. So electric, since we hit back to zero, uh, I'll put a line to indicate. Electric gets its 34. Want 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, uh, let's see today. I'll do the date that I got this. Uh, 34. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm just, I'm just feeling good. Like I have, I, I feel like I set myself up to succeed after failing so many times, especially with money. So, this binder is good. On to, let me see. On to our wallets. So, did I? Yeah, I put gas. Okay, so strawberry money, which for now is gas. I really need to get a new envelope because one day I'm gonna forget what's in here and then spend it wrong. Okay, so strawberry money is getting 30. So that's a 20 and a 10, 30. And like I said, I don't put uh, budget slips in these because I just roll them over however next week. I don't need to keep track of those. Groceries is getting five because I spent 25 of it already um, on Friday. And then we are stuffing miscellaneous this week. It gets 20 and 10. Okay. Cool, so that's it for my wallet. I'm ready for the week. I still have some groceries that I forgot about that I need to go get. So I'm probably gonna use groceries and miscellaneous to get those today or tomorrow. I don't know, I just, I usually, I don't, I try not to buy anything until I cash stuff and record because it holds me accountable for doing my cash stuffing and building my budget and like writing out my budget and then staying within that budget. Okay, so next is our, I'll say sinking fund binder. Yeah, all right. So what did I say? All right. So Alls by Design, which is for our website, is getting the 50. So this will have 200. Oh, this one's a different 50. Is it? No, it's upside down. All right. 50, 100, 150, 200. Okay. Um, so this is 200. So this is enough for the website because the website, I think it says 195. I don't know if it has tax or anything. Um, but that's the 200 
And then, let me see. No, no, no moving yet. I know, I know. I'm gonna get there. I'm not necessarily, this isn't for like moving in April. This is for like way later. So I have it now because I want to start saving early, but I just haven't had the chance to because I have like my website and then there's a couple other things that I want to save up for first, like my tires. Like when I pay off and I'm able to buy my tires, it's over. Like it's done. Like we're just cash stuffing hard because I want to get new tires. And after I get like that done, like my car maintenance done, it's we're we're gonna be moving forward pretty quickly i feel like I'm, I'm excited when i get to that point i'll know that i'm like making progress and I'll, I'll be super excited um so car maintenance is getting a crisp 50 this week um so let's count because i wasn't sure what was in here so 50 70 90 110, 120, 125. Okay, so that's like, what, a tire? We're getting there. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Hey, this is more tire than I had before. This is more money for tires than I had beforehand. So I'm excited. Um, nothing for gifts yet, though. I'm lucky that my friend's birthday is, and Christmas is way later. I'll eventually start putting money in here so I can get them stuff. Um, no extra bonus for loans or anything. And I don't think I'm putting anything in these right now. It depends on where I wanna put this stuff. Um, I'm not sure. But one thing I am excited about is my savings challenges. So I am putting into two of my savings challenges. So one, is this one, I don't know if you remember from the first video I made, but my 100 envelope challenge that I made, I just got some parts from like Michael's and I got a little bow, cause it's like a gift to me. So let's see, we're gonna fill up the number nine envelope, but I don't, I don't have a card in here to like white off what numbers we've done yet. But I just know, I know we did one, two, three and eight, but today we're doing number number nine okay so that will be nine dollars so it'll be a five and then one two three four so nine all right i really i was in the middle of designing a card for this like i want something super cute that matches my brand um but i haven't um gotten it printed out yet because I wanted to print out cardstock. Uh, okay, so got that done. And then I made myself an, another, let's see. It is so, <laughs> if you know me in person, you know this is like right up my alley as far as like all these stickers and things, but I made myself a $5 savings challenge binder. So I had a bunch of like, um, car, like, uh, playing, like trading cards that I had collected like years ago, but I didn't really do anything with them. I just kind of hoarded them because I was like, Ooh, pretty cards. I'm going to have a collection, but I'm like, I don't really collect trading cards. I collect more like comic books and like Karomi, like plushies and things like that. Like I, I don't really collect trading cards. So when I was cleaning out my house, a few weeks ago, um, I found this binder and it had a bunch of trading cards in it. So I decided to empty out all the sleeves and I counted how many sleeves there are. So there's 19 of these nine card sleeves. So if I fill this up with $5 per like sleeve, so it'd be like $45 a page, I should have $855 when it's full. So I think what I want to do um, is put all my ones and fives in here. And I think the tens that I got, I'm going to put in one of my sinking funds. It would probably, 
it might just end up going in car maintenance just to bolster that. And I know I should put all this in car maintenance, but I still want to save something, like in a, in a fun way. So, let's see, I need to make room. It's been a while since I've had like a three ring eight and a half by 11 binder. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh no, this only is four. Uh, I'll stuff this somewhere else. So four, so five, 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 five. And then we'll leave the tens here. Okay. And then I decided to save six of these fives. So I decided to save six of these fives for this challenge. So we are gonna, we're gonna at least fill up one page. So that's exciting. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Go one. Okay, do I need to, I need to double fold them. Okay. Oh, see, this is, it's little things like this is why I don't have an A7 binder because I really want A7 because I have a lot of small purses, but I don't like folding them like this. So two, okay, three. See, now this is some trading cards I can get behind. <laughs> and the ones I had, I got rid of them. They weren't like worth anything to like sell them. Like it was just kind of like a kitschy thing that I got into. Um, and it's like, I'm not, not invested in it anymore. None of them were of any value. I, like I said, I prefer collecting comic books and Karami stuff. So I might as well leave myself room to make things, like get myself things that I actually will enjoy and find appreciation in. And I was like, oh, I could use this binder. Like I feel bad throwing out this binder with all the sleeves. I'm like, I can use it for a savings challenge. And I didn't write on these envelopes, so like if I want to increase the amount at some point, if I fill this up and reuse it again, I could do that too. Um, okay, so we got one page, so we have one page, and then two slots. Gosh, I really wish we had another dollar so we can fill this whole thing, like fill this row, but I think I'm going to put the rest of that. Okay, so 9 times 5, 45. 55. So we have 55 so far in our $5 savings binder. So at the end, I don't know if I said it, but at the end, we should have $855 when we fill this up. So I'm super excited because that's going to help a lot. And I feel like if my weeks keep going like this, like especially with the bills, like I know water bill is super over. So I'm definitely going to be able to have some fives to put in here. And if we fill a page a week, that'll be like three, four months, this thing will be filled. And it'll be, ugh, that money's gonna help out so much. Like, I'm, I'm super excited because I will be able to use that to like, go ahead with my one of the head, put money away, maybe start filling up some other envelopes. Like it's gonna, ugh, I can pay off more of my computer. Like it, it's gonna help a lot. So I'm excited about this and I, <laughs> I made it myself. And I stuck all the stickers on it. Like I found a bunch of stickers within the trading cards that they had. So I'm like, all right, put all my my favorite fab ponies on here. Um, you know, my little ponies. I don't know if anyone's like a fan or familiar, but I love them. Twilight Sparkle is my favorite. Best princess. Uh, <laughs> so I have this filled. And then where are we going to put... Where are we going to put this? I need to... Hmm. All right. Okay. So we're going to do. No, let's see. Okay. So we're going to put some money in. We're going to put the 20s in our. We're just going to put the rest in car maintenance. I don't feel like doing math right now. <laughs> well, I could put the 20 in my website and then that'll be paid off and then I won't have to save it. Or like pay for it next month. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, sorry, I, I'm thinking out loud. I'm gonna put the rest of this in my Alps by Design folder for my website because that's all I need left for the domain to be able to pay off the website and the domain. And there might be tax, so that's where the uh, four dollars will help. So got two hundred to ten to twenty. 
to 24. Okay. That, that should be more than enough for the website. So that means I don't have to stuff for the website anymore. At least I don't have to stuff like as boisterously for the website anymore. So next month I can put more towards the car maintenance and then I can put this in the bank when it's due. Like I realized now that um, my website isn't due until February like end of February but it's nice to have it now so I don't have to worry about it trying to stuff it all in February so now I can stuff my car maintenance faster so I can hurry up and get those tires I still want to get all four at once because I I don't know I just feel weird about like getting two at a time and then if I get another two will they know which two to change I'm not a mechanic but I don't know mistakes happen and that's okay but I'm like I don't want to pay for six tires <laughs> and I can just be like hi change all of them please here's the money <laughs> help like that I just I don't want any I don't want to have any complications with that but yeah so that's oh that's exciting I have my website I was worried about it because I didn't want it to go offline um, cause I do still need it. I like having that site. It's a great place to have my portfolio and everything else there. It's an archive. I like syncing my Instagram to it. Like it's really, it's a really nice website. I worked hard on it and I don't want to lose it. Um, so thanks you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this week's cash stuffing. I, I am once again, every time I do this, I get more motivated to like continue cash stuffing. Like Thursdays are the best, like my favorite days of the week now, because that's when I find out how much I'm going to make on Friday. And then I get to budget. And then like Friday and Saturday is when I like take the money out and cash stuff. And then either Saturday or Sunday, I like record. And then I'm like, yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. Like I, as a graphic designer, it's important for me to get inspiration constantly and find passion in the things that I do. So being able to find that in something like cash stuffing, which you wouldn't think people would get like inspired or motivated by it, but to find that inspiration as a designer in cash stuffing, it just, it brings me joy because it's something, it's something new, it's something interesting, it's something that's helping me, it's something I can have fun with. Like that's all I, that's all I want from my design work and that's all I want from cash stuffing. That's all I want in my hobbies and like my thing. Like it's a hobby. It's a hobby that's helping me and I enjoy that immensely. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I don't know, it feels weird saying that, but like please comment. I wanna know how you guys feel about my video. I wanna know how you guys are doing on your financial journeys. Um, I want to know if this is y'all's first time cash stuffing or doing YouTube. I'm still learning how to edit videos and things. I had to learn a new program. I had to learn CapCut. I've never worked with CapCut before. It's actually really nice. Like I, as you can see in this video, I updated my intro. Like I am, I feel like I'm growing in more places than just financially when it comes to cash stuffing. So I'm very thankful for that in the least. So thank you for watching and y'all have a great day.